Some call it rent a cow, a way to save money on your property taxes by renting cows and putting them on your land. Today, News Channel 5 cameras were the only ones there when Animal Care and Control confiscated a dozen malnourished cows. Treated, county officials say, like nothing more than a tool to cut a tax bill. Only on 5, News Channel 5's Brian Itton joins us live in suburban West Palm Beach. Brian. We are at the Animal Care and Control Farm where the 15 cows right now are recovering. Look beyond this fence and you see them. They've been eating nonstop ever since they got here. And investigators say they weren't used for beef and they weren't used for milk. They were likely used for property tax savings. How the cows have been here for how long? Wendy Ballard and her family say they've watched these cows starve across the street from their barn. <laughs> There's been no source of food or water. The Wellington land these cows graze on is barren with no grass and barely any shade. This is definitely a, a neglect situation as far as we're concerned. Animal care and control officers say the cows are only here so the owner can get an agricultural tax break. These animals are not healthy enough to reproduce. They're not healthy enough to have any food value to somebody. You know, they're being maintained, it appears, just for the tax breaks. Neighbors say they've been suspicious. <laughs> Obviously, they don't care for the animal. They're just putting it out there so that they can save money on their taxes. The woman who says she owns the cow showed up angry. Can you just tell us, are the animals abused? No, they're not. She didn't want to answer questions, but she did talk to me on the phone. Do the people who own the land, though, get a tax exempt because of the cows? Um, I'm sure they do. I think they need to change the law because it's not fair to these poor animals that are put out here to basically fend for themselves. The cow owner left in a hurry. I'm going to go contact my attorney right now. Thank you so much. Wendy and her kids say they'll sleep better tonight knowing the cows are safe. I am so happy I can't stand it. And you can ask anyone on the block around here. We've all been very concerned. Investigators say if the owner does not voluntarily surrender these cows, they will take her to court. And she told me earlier today that she has over 100 cows on various vacant properties throughout the area. The investigators here say their investigation is ongoing right now. Live in suburban West Palm Beach, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.